Worried about so that was you. You were at like a two. That, that was like a six. That's good. Yeah. That was like a nine. Yeah. Okay. Stop. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm off the charts. Oh. Yeah, these are great. You're in the good part. There's your intro. You're gonna, yeah. Yeah. There's my intro. You guys just fucking screaming. <laughs> to see your levels. Um. Oh, this is lots of pasta. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's his name. <laughs> I guess you have a good point. <laughs> Stop it. Why? Oh. So this is lots of pasta, and I'm here. We're doing a triple sesh. <laughs> this this is the recording. I didn't know. I thought we were doing the. <laughs> yeah, you were doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess this is like your guys' gimmick or something. Like when I have two of you, <laughs> when I have two of you in a fucking Jesus room, Christ. you just try to make as much off mic noises as you fucking possibly can. He's he's literally walking away. I don't even know if you could I'm curious could have heard if you that. can hear him. Over time. <laughs> we'll we'll find out, I guess. At some point, you've done it in both of your other episodes. <laughs> so I'm here with. Uh, we're doing a triple sesh today after um, the successful uh, recording with Mr. Skelly Bones and Disco Dracula. Song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember the song. Yeah, it's Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> I had the both of them on, and that went pretty well. So I'm I'm open to doing like three people uh, podcasts now instead of just the regular two, um, which I think is fun. You know, it's just. We have to, uh, there are certain people who would thrive in this kind of setting and, and others who really, it's not like their thing. I feel like, uh, Django Phillips and I are very reserved and we, we just try to tell good stories. Whereas you don't really give a shit. Who is you? <laughs> you, I'm looking at you. Who are you? I can't see your eyes. So I'm that. talking to, uh, yeah, I should probably introduce you to. So we got a bunch of baby ducks here. <laughs> yep. I like that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that has nothing to do with creepy pasta. It's not creepy at all. Ducks are pretty scary because then they turn into geese. <laughs> Yo, DJ, hand me that mic. Yeah, I mean, you can hear you. Don't hold it. Bring it in close. <laughs> no. Closer. Closer. <laughs> you know this is very well. <laughs> you work pretty well. So I'm here. I'm here with, let me start from the top. Jack Reach Around, a.k.a. Terry the Tickler, a.k.a. Rick. A.k.a. <laughs> okay, alright, so is that, is that like E-U-G-H-H-H-H? -H -H -H? <laughs> no, my name's, uh, Jerry Jew Curls. Jerry Jew Curls? That's not creepy either, but I'm here with Jerry Jew Curls and a bunch of baby ducks. Is that what the, is that the name you want to go by? I don't care. I like a bunch of baby ducks. Uh, yeah. There's something yeah. ominous about it. <laughs> you know, it's what like, I, it's like, what are those oh, baby oh, ducks no, doing? I'm sorry, I gotta change what my name real quick. Doing? This is the adventure, here we go. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Fancy living, here we come. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you drinking there, Jerry Jew girls? Uh, sorry, my name's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I'm your host, uh, Jerry Jew Curls here. Welcome to uh, an adequate amount of pasta with my guest. Uh, What's unsettling about that? <laughs> it's just an adequate amount. That's the amount. average amount I eat. <laughs> just an adequate amount of pasta. That's, I guess it makes sense for today's episode. That's my version of it. We are, we are doing a special episode today. We're just going to read two sentence horror stories. Okay. This was um this was a bunch of baby ducks idea. And um, I, f I feel like we can do, we, one. we could probably, 
We are legion. We are one. He's, we are dead. He's taking. Oh, so so you're um you sexually identify as a them there's or a, a they? There's a bunch of ducks in there. Just you're, everywhere. You're a they them. It's like yeah. duck 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 and then a goose. Yeah, it's no, like no, sand no, it's, it's the sandstorm song, but redone <laughs> with ducks. <clears throat> no. His name no. is I'm Jerry Juke. Oh, okay. This is really uncomfortable right now. Jerry, you comfortable. <laughs> That's a comfortable. Yeah, okay. Boy. All right, great. Great. <laughs> So those are the two people. Not at all, boy. D- <laughs> so those are the two people I'm here with today, and uh, we're gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna let a bunch of baby ducks take it from the top here. We're just reading. Um, I guess it's 40 of the creepiest two sentence stories from Reddit. Yeah. This is just another muffled. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like from the base. Yeah, like, like this? Off my like this? Like this? Like this? Like Yeah, and then You're you hold the ball. really uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 the fist around it. Alright, what is it? Okay. No, this is the one I hate! Tickle. God damn it. Is, you need to I know that, but it's the first one! <laughs> I began tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath his amusement and see another him under the bed staring back at me quivering and whispering daddy there's someone in my bed I, l- that? I like that one Whoa, hold the phone. I hate that one is that boo boo from fucking no. yogi bear there's a bunch of beginning biscuits in my bed <laughs> whoa <laughs> it's that would have been a better story it's then him. yeah uh, I'll read number two this one is by gagigi which I believe you were screaming at the top of your lungs. I don't under, like. Is this who they're buying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, these I'm are the guessing. users. These are the users on Reddit who wrote these stories. Will you calm the fuck down? <laughs> God, your nose isn't bleeding. Yeah, it hasn't been actually for a while. Like since high school, it just stopped. It was like time to grow up. No more menstruation. <laughs> your nose hit menopause. Gaggy. <laughs> The doctors told the amputee he might experience a phantom limb from time to time. Nobody prepared him for the moment, though, when he felt cold fingers brush across his phantom hand. (laughs) So what I was actually imagining was, like, uh, a hand with, like, a spooky face on it, and it would be, like, like, on your shoulder. Like, not not even where it's supposed to be. That movie back then where the guy gets his hand cut off and he has idle hands. Is that what it is? Yeah. What was that? This is a story called Graboid 27. (laughs) That's not what it's called. That's the user. (laughs) Graboid 27 by Jiffy. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. Oh, Oh, I'm buried alive. Or, or is, is it some weird kind of purgatory? We don't know. We're moving on. What is this? Arcany waffles. Arcany waffles? <laughs> yeah, it's not anarchist waffles. Arcany. Don't be scared of the monsters. Just look for them. Look to your left. Look to your right. Look under your bed. Look behind your dresser. In your closet. But never look up. She hates being seen. We actually we read that on your first episode. Yeah, he. Yeah, this is one yeah. of the stories they said we should read. That All right, real hat man. I'm sorry, I should have. It's okay. We got the real. We didn't proofread. Yeah, we'll it's the real hat man's time. I should have a hat to do this, but I don't have a hat. Man, I can't wait to hear. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. That's not glass. That was wood. Close enough. <laughs> at first. Some really strong glass. At first. <laughs> I thought it was the... Why would they write, I thought it was the window? I... I know it was no! the window! No! I thought... God damn it. First, I thought it was the window, until I heard it coming from the mirror again. <laughs> Can we just get a quick victory, uh, like, uh, out real quick? Yeah, if you want to. Count of, uh, three, two, uh, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is, uh, this is by no gooder than you. They celebrated the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way of letting them know he was still conscious. (laughs) For a thousand year slumber. That sounds 
Oh. This is by Pang. Pangia. Pangang. 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 She wondered why she was casting two shadows. After all, there was only a single light bulb. Yeah, I know, like, yeah, what point? It's <laughs> like this person has never been in a weirdly constructed room before. Yeah, there could have been me. I only enter perfectly square or circular rooms. Yeah. Wait, me again? Yeah. All right. Horses Everywhere has wrote this story. Or is that the title? No, that is the title. That's not the title! <laughs> I sat on my show. How do you fit on a shelf? I, it sat on my Oh! <laughs> I sat on my shelf. It sat on my with thoughtless porcelain eyes and the prettiest pink doll dress I could find, why did she have to be born still? Oh, fuck. Dead babies. <laughs> Bent reflection. It's my dick in the mirror. I was going to say. <laughs> Bent reflection. The grinning face stared at me from the darkness beyond my bedroom window. I live on the 14th floor. <gasps> Get those flying Jews away from my window! Oh! <laughs> Whoa. No, we have what to is this people. one now? Story, story number 10. Gustilus. Gustilus. There was a picture of my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. Ba -ba -ba! <laughs> I fucking hate you. See, he usually does that. That's okay. We'll both do it this now time. Now you reminded him. <laughs> it's good. We're going to do it in stereo. That's right. This story is called Mario 1310. <laughs> it's Marino. Fuck off! I just saw my reflection blink. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <coughs> what gave him the choice of Mario 1310? Uh, he was... It's like a religious thing, like, you know, 13 colon 10. The Book of Mario. <laughs> the Book of oh, Mario. Yeah. Verse 13. I chapter was 10. And then I shat One on the Goomba. Of family Guy. When he's holding up the John, like, 316 sign, and Pete, uh, Brian's sitting there, and he's just like, what does that even mean? Looks it up, and God said, go socks. Oh. <laughs> okay. The story is by Hicktit. <laughs> Working the night shift alone tonight, there's a face in the cellar staring at the security camera! That one sucked. <laughs> yeah. Your turtles got burgled. They didn't say a face of anything. It I'm, here just been... I'm here to burgle your turts! I'm here to burgle your turts. Yeah, what if someone just taped the picture to the camera? This next story is by Mikey75. They delivered the mannequins in bubble wrap. From the main room, I began to hear popping. Nice. I love popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> <clears throat> this is from Tuskledmon. <laughs> He's a Digimon. You wake up. She doesn't. <laughs> what was that? It's, what, is, what are they implying? <laughs> I don't know. You, you just date raped a girl? Who's the she? You just date raped That's a girl? The, uh, He's a Pokemon. What's the matter? Cosby story. This one's by Calamitosity. Another shellfish? She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. Uh, I can't wait. It's my dog. The next <laughs> my dog breathes real heavy. I need to hear how you This is by... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh... Madam So let's see let's see if I could say it like all at once though. Madam M night dong. You get home tired after a long day's work and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch, but another hand is already there. There. Damn. Damn. This, is, this is what your name should have been. Oh. I am now Scuppy. You are not apparently. now Scuppy. I, like I am a bunch, bunch of baby, baby Scuppies. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. 
Pum 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 pum. This is by Fluffy Ponzia. Day 312. Internet still not working! Then how did you write this fucking story online, yeah. fucking dick? You fluffy pony. Fuck you. <laughs> Pass it on. This is by Anonymous ABC. Abaku. Abaku. You start to drift off into a comfortable sleep when you hear your name being whispered. You live alone. Is that the second one of that you got? I think so. Essentially. Wait, is the last one? I oh, know there's 40. I yeah. I, I thought I clicked the 40, the 21, not the 41. This is from Twist Bub. Yeah. <clears throat> Time to take a cheddar fry break. Whoa, fry me. <laughs> <laughs> Get on in there to them. Uh, uh, get like, get I big. Can't, I can't turn them boys down. Mm. Oh. Got big. <laughs> I'll curve my wife. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. You have to be legible. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. I kiss my wife and daughter goodnight before I go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm in a padded room and the nurse is telling me it was just a dream. These are getting worse. Yeah. And worse. Do you regret doing this yet? We could cut the ones that suck out. No. Yeah, we could. No, there's just, there's something about them. Were you Jar Jar Binks there at the end? Misa. What? <laughs> You're like, Misa stories are getting bad. <laughs> yeah, I sounded like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, by Waysafe. I need to quickly run an SQL command to update a single row in an Oracle DB table at work. To my horror, it came back with negative 2,378,231 rows affected. I take it this is a nerd speaking. <laughs> no, this is way safe. <laughs> Whoa, is there CT Crunch? Oh, CT Crunch. <laughs> Uh, so, this next story is by Jesus Mendez, or as I say, Jesus Mendez. Yes. <laughs> You're laying in bed, and with your feet dangling out of the covers, you feel a head grab your feet. It's a foot fetishist. Yeah. I just... I fucking love I fucking love feet. I fucking love feet. Put them in my mouth. That's a lot of people whacking it at once. TLF mod? <laughs> yeah. TLF mod. TLF mod. Wait, what if it's Domfelta? Dun 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 dun! <clears throat> the funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside! Highway to the danger zone! <laughs> yeah, that's what he was listening to in yeah. there. In the catacombs. Um, Why not? This one's by the D string. My wife m woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in her house. <coughs> she was murdered by an intruder two years ago. Oh, she's still alive. No, she's fucking dead. It was her ghost saying the same shit it always says when I'm trying to fucking sleep. Oh. This next one's by a morph. Amorph. Misa called Jar Jar Binks. Misa. Your humble servant. <laughs> that is one of the most no! terrifying. We did the Darth Vader. Yeah, one of the most terrifying uh, two sentence. Can you put the Darth Vader note there? No, I don't do sound sound Come effects. On. You have to do it with your own voice. No, which is acceptable, <laughs> right? All right, no. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like a hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. This is why. The taste of cinnamon crunch is still undiscovered. <laughs> but you just had some cinnamon crunch. Yeah, but we're not allowed to know. It doesn't say why. It's Definitely not all the weed I'm smoking. That's why it tastes so good. You blow it, right? No. <laughs> and I just turned it off, so unless you want some, I can turn it back on. This is uh, by Scry67. <laughs> I hope you don't. The last man on earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock at the door. Oh, that's classic. Yeah, actually, Scry67 did not make that. That is from 
an actual book somewhere. This is by Cobalt Collapse. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke in my apartment to place them there. <laughs> We're back at this. I don't know what that says. This is comparatively insane. Comparatively sane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in, in the brain! <laughs> But this is from I Hate. This is the new I Hate story. I was stoned! And Taco Bell was closed! No! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I, I've, life. I've been there, actually. Or I went to one of those so, nifty KFC Taco Bell combos and they told me the Taco Bell side wasn't working and I was me, like, THE NEW SIGN IS FULL OF LIES! Tell me what bullshit it is. Open till 2am or later, which means you're open all night, right? And uh, they're not. No, because it says we're later. That could just mean like two thirty a.m. Like you know, five in the morning. Maybe nope. I want some tacos. Not, not to them. Yeah, it's bullshit. And they do breakfast now. We so went this. there at like midnight, and they were closed. Yeah, yeah, this that's happening. Fucking bullshit. This says two a.m. later. Fourth meal, man. I fucking love fourth meal. <coughs> fourth meal. 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 This is by genetically witless. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. Oh, that's what's that? <laughs> isn't that? Isn't that the? That's the show uh, Quantum Leap from the eighties. I choked Cherry oh, Ton. It's not, it's not your turn, you bitch. <laughs> I choked Cherry Ton. <laughs> I choked cherry ton. <laughs> Nurse's note: Board seven pounds ten ounces, eighteen inches long, thirty-two fully formed teeth, silent, always smiling. We, uh, we burned it with this fire. Is this is Aaron. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. This is just a mother who's scared. No, that, that happens all around the country. Yeah, that's not like... Like every year. Alright. <laughs> Alright, my baby's gone. Time to make another one. Yeah, pretty much. This quick magic. <laughs> that's not what it says. This is the new it's, it's black with a Q. The magic has a CK, like cock. And then magic with a K. The longer I wore it, the more it grew on me. She had such pretty skin. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, River. <laughs> Vault Kid 321. I can't sleep, she whispered. Crawled into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. Yeah, so we went and cuddled with the corpse for a night. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> I... Okay, thanks, guys. All right, this is D. Camillo. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> got some D. Camillo. Yeah, Camillo. You hear the scream across the hallway, but your eyes won't open, and you can't move. Lobotomy. <laughs> or what, like, death is? Nope. <laughs> this is by Scabby Cakes. Ew. Ooh, who's Being the first to respond to a fatal car accident is always the most traumatic thing I see as a police officer. But today, when the crushed body of the little dead child boy strapped in his car seat opened his eyes and giggled at me when I tried to peel him out of the wreckage, I immediately knew that today would be my last day on the force. You saved a boy who was having some kind of traumatic life experience and didn't know how to react. I think you should stop overreacting and stop being such a little fucking bitch. This is by Alette. The new Pokemon. Yeah, right. I looked out my window. The stars had gone away. <laughs> so you, so you live in the city of Philadelphia. <laughs> like, it's like there are no stars when you live next to shit. All right, DJ Hand Cabrian. Just wait. There's a lion ad in the way. I don't care. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed to fixate on my face, until one day when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. At my butt. <laughs> and this is the last. <laughs> this is the last one we have, but it's a by Yoshkow. The pairs of emaciated eyes outnumbered the single round in my gun. With pleading tears falling on her doll's hair, I point the barrel at my last surviving daughter. 
Great. That was the mist. Cool, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the mist. Okay. So, um... <laughs> Dude, Jesus go. Christ. All right, so... Ah! We got to make sure the mic's still working. It, dude, calm down. <laughs> so... We, uh, I think it's... We're halfway about, through. I think it's about time in the night that we switch over to troll pasta. As if we haven't been reading them already. Yeah, those are all free. Do you, do you actually want to read some creepypasta? I could get us all some one-pagers. Man, sure. let's get some trolls. You want to do trolls? I don't care. I don't know how many really short ones I have, but we might have to switch between, like, ones and twos. I don't care. That's fine. This next story is called... The Deep... It is a deep story. It's a, it's a troll pasta. TP. TP for toilet paper pasta. Yeah. The ocean has claimed many lives over the years. Traders, sailors, airmen, the list goes on. A boy was riding the ferry to the Sicily Isles. 30 miles off the southwest corner of England, the sea was choppy. And he felt sick. He leaned over the side, sensing that he was about to throw up. Instead, he was horrified to see that the gray water was full of white corpses. Some in uniforms, which stared up at him with pure white eyes. Horrified, the boy got up and turned to his parents. They were the same as the people in the water, and so was everyone else on board. The ship stopped just as the boy ran to the bridge. Everyone on board regarded him with dead eyes. As the ship gracefully slipped beneath the waves, the boy realized that the deep was claiming its tax on humanity. What do you even call that troll? I don't think that was troll pasta. I might have actually just... You might have just read a creepypasta by accident. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. It like, was pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I didn't mind it. It's pretty... Uh, it's pretty crazy. The duck's mortal enemies. Cats. The eyes of a cat are windows to your soul. They can see into other dimensions. They can see your aura and what's wrong with you. A cat knows when you're happy... They know when you're sad. They know if you've been good or bad. When you're <laughs> yeah, <it's like> Santa. <laughs> yeah. When you're in bad health, when you are troubled, or when you are hungry. He knows when you are feeling that's a big word. And he knows anonymous. good enough. Anonymous. Not and he anonymous. knows when you're about to die. It's fortunate cats can't talk, because you have a lot of secrets. The cat knows. That's just like the only I don't feel like <laughs> I feel like you took it seriously. Yeah. Like these are these are troll passes. They're ridiculous. Yeah. Like, They're saying that cats know when you die and would tell other people your secrets. That does, did that sound like a troll pasta to you? Or was that no, another creepy really. pasta? It sounded like Constantine. Okay. Maybe we said that. Maybe stories. I've maybe I've just accidentally been naming ones with troll pasta when they're really creepy that pasta. Like just a, that wasn't even a creep. That was just a story. Yeah. <laughs> it even like sometimes you get some good ones six months one day not. i went to sheets i forgot my wallet <laughs> oh i like this one i'll read this one <laughs> the noise you just made. this one's called homeless man so this one's called homeless man Somewhere in New York City, there's an old man missing both his legs from the knees down, whose spot along the streets is the corner of Lexington and East 21st near Gramercy Park. Approach him after nightfall, give him some change, no pennies and no dimes, and ask him, what did you see on the other side? He will then tell you all about his travels to the other realms and times where he lost his legs, how he lost his money. It is up to you whether to believe him or not, but as you listen, you'll find yourself being drawn in with every story. You must stay alert, or the old man will notice your inattentiveness, and with a scowl, he will stop imparting his wisdom. He will chase you as fast as he can, tottering on his stubs. The other reason why you must stay alert is to check the time. Before midnight, you must interrupt him. Do not let him finish whatever story he's telling you at the moment and say, I've heard enough, old man. Good day and good luck. Then walk away. Make at least two left-hand turns around the block before going about your business. 
You must do this, because anyone who has stayed to listen past midnight is never seen again. At least, not in this particular plane of existence. The irony of uh, this entire story is um, on the corner of that street is a footlocker. For real? I would believe it. Just an ordinary couple. TP. Chopas. A couple was walking across the road one day. The boy said, Sarah, could you tit your head back? <laughs> there is no L. It says tit. It's a Don't yell at me. Dude, it's a troll pasta. Okay. Could you tit your head back? Sarah replied, why? To which the boy replied, because I'm a vampire. And then you put in the Disco Dracula. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a story of Disco Dracula's sex life. That was nice. <laughs> Can you take your head back? Uh, it's a good one. Sorry, I'm actually so up next. I'll just find a short one. Now yeah. for a word for my fancies. This mutant <laughs> master. Fucking drinking mutant again. I thought after the second episode we we refused to do this. Is that an actual drink? Yes. I just <sighs> thought it was a monster. <laughs> <laughs> the blatant disregard you have for the my life. <laughs> so this this tropas is called six 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 Grant Thomas. Oh. It was a dark and stormy night in the town of Fairfield. Flashes of lightning struck the ground, creating a bluish smoke, almost the kind you would find in movies. There was a house in the town of Fairfield, a house like no other. It had 666 bedrooms and 666 bathrooms. The owner of the house was a stingy woman named Oprah Winfrey. Every night, at least one child would go to her house and never come back. Townspeople thought that she would send them to Africa so that a celebrity would be able to adopt them. Oprah could not be stopped. The only person who might be able to stop her was a man named Dr. Oz. He was a doctor in Fairfield. His work consisted of helping famous basketball stars and their cats that are dealing AIDS. Dr. Oz and Oprah were conceived in the same pickup truck almost at the same time. So along with the story, Dr. Oz and the townspeople all had a meeting to discuss the problem and what they were going to do about it. At the meeting, majority of the population said that Oprah should be killed, and the other half said, no, she should just be punished. They all decided to let Dr. Oz make the decision. Dr. Oz had a very hard time deciding what to do, so he decided to go with his instinct and kill her. Later that night, he snuck into one of her bedrooms, gun in hand, and a bottle of hand soap. He walked through many halls trying to find where Oprah was sleeping. Then he spotted out a purple door. He assumed that this was where she was. Dr. Oz opened the door and shot the gun and ran down the hall and left the house. A couple of days later, he drove by Oprah's house and he saw her outside watering her grass. She gave him a stare and then looked away. Apparently, Oprah was never shot and she didn't notice the gunshot either. Yeah. What the fuck? That was terrifying. This next story is called Zach and Meghan. They didn't feel like spelling hand, I guess. Zach and Meghan. Hello! We're like a voice in the forest. What? Do you, oh, god damn it. Do you want yelled Zach? It's just me, said his girlfriend, Megan. Okay, why did they drop the H there? Oh, I knew that. And then she started to fade. Zach! She yelled as she disappeared. What's happening? yelled Zach. Then he saw it. It was a creature in the tree moaning. Zach looked up and screamed. Then he mustered. Mustered up the courage. And then he asked, What are you, your giant eyes for? God. Look through and through. What are your giant claws for? said Zach, seeming frightened. To scratch your grave. And what are your giant teeth for? said Zach, almost whispered. What are your giant teeth for? Then the thing replied, To chop your bones. Zach started running, and then he was in a clearing. He looked back and he saw his house. So he ran inside, and there were three things two graves in the yard. And monsters. Zach screamed so loudly he died at the end. 
<laughs> I like how it's the end. The end. <laughs> this is a question mark. Is this it? All right, this is the wrong house. Wait, it's in all caps. I have to yell. I went to my house, except it wasn't mine. It was a murderer's. I was killed, and now I'm dead. But I've been dead for 20 years. What was that last line? You just left the other. Boo. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so this is, um. This is a troll pasta called Friday. I awake to my alarm clock beeping. 7 o'clock a.m. I decide to get up to go downstairs and have some cereal. I reach into the cabinet and grab my bowl. I grab me some Reese's Pieces and make some cereal. My parents and siblings rush around me clearly in a hurry to get to work in time. I need to get down to the bus stop. So I leave the house and set off to the bus stop. On the way to the bus stop, I see my friends. <laughs> They're in their car, driving up next to me. An empty seat in the front, another in the back. Which seat do I take? I get into the seat in the back, then I realize today is Friday. Friday? I look at all me friends, and I see their eyes full of joy. They're looking forward to the weekend. We're all partying and having fun. Looking forward to the weekend. 7.45, we drive down the highway. I decided to skip school, because why not? Driving at such a high speed, I want time to go faster. You know, you know what it is. My good friend is just to the right of me. Sitting in the front, sitting in the back, which seat should I take? I realize once again that today is Friday. I prepare myself for the immense partying and shitty traffic later. <laughs> so much fun. The weekend is nearly here. I reminisce of the yesterday, Thursday to be precise, but no point looking back into the past. Today is Friday. We're going to have a fucking ball. Tomorrow will be Saturday, and after that, it'll be Sabbath. But today is Friday. The last day. Our vehicle swings out of control. I die. Alright, that ended good. That ended better than I was thought. hoping it would be like a Groundhog Day thing, you know? It's Friday. It's like every day is Friday, and she loses her fucking mind. She dies every day. She's yeah, she dies every day. Bowl of cereal. Yeah, but she's grown so accustomed to it, you know? There's something sick about that. This is called Who Was Skeleton? Who Was Skeleton? Who Was Skeleton? Law Humans was a fairly normal man. Besides the fact that he laughed out loud at everybody he met, he also was part of the occult for Curious George, the all knowing divine lord of the universe. One merrily day, he went about Troll Pasta Town looking for some babes. He dashed as fast as he could to a crowd of nearby humans, and he went ballistic. Ha ah, ha ha! Look at all these humans! He screamed in the middle of a line for a hot dog stand. Everyone stared at the slightly deranged man, but then quickly refocused their attention to the hooded man with a huge smile selling hot dogs. After the quick breakfast of banana O's... He has a craving for them. Bought them from the stand. Okay. He giggled to himself, thinking about more humans. Suddenly, he saw her. The perfect woman. She had the smile of an angel. Hair made of rich coal. Coal, if that's a thing. Eyes that sparkled like the moon. It's his daughter, of course. More humans ran over to her, laughing, of course. He then banned her for being so ugly. She cried hyper-realistic tears. <laughs> The next morning, Low Humans had a bad feeling. He thought it was just a glitch, so he ignored it. Bad choice. He got up and jumped out of the window. <laughs> Who the fuck has time for stairs? He then entered his house through another window. Who the fuck has time for doors? 
<laughs> in the kitchen, he was cooking something for his pet monkey. His daughter, of course. <laughs> Bananas again, she asked. Yes, you fucking ugly slut. Eat your fucking bananas. I may or may not have taken a big corny. Read it. Uh okay. We're gonna we're gonna backtrack here for a second. That's such a long sentence. Bananas again, she asked. Yes, you fucking ugly slut. Eat your fucking bananas. I may or may not have taken a big corny shit on. Little humans and little daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Exited through the window together, doing a triple barrel roll and landed in perfect form. Sadly, they didn't realize the stove was still on. Lowell Humans returned from his trip to the local bar and saw his house was on fire. No! <laughs> he screamed like a little pussy. <laughs> Side, the melting window and ran over to his closet to look for any old wet tissue he could use to put the fire out. <laughs> Being inside the small space of the closet made him suffocate on all the smoke. The smell of fish. He blacked out and lost 13 doge coins. <laughs> Low humans had a short dream. Was it a wet dream? I don't know. Low humans <laughs> looked around in his dream. Ugh, where am I? The smell of flaming jellyfish jelly lingered in the air. Is anyone there? Little humans were starting to get paranoid. It is I, your mighty overlord. George, is that you? No, fool. I am the being known as Evil Patrix. Who? Fool. Look to either side of the page. Do you have any idea where I am? <laughs> yes, human. Little humans giggled a bit. <laughs> You are dead. You suffocated in your closet like a retard, but I will give you the chance to live. Yes, I will do anything to live. Very well. You shall keep your virginity forever and be immortal. Aw, oh, shit. Little humans woke up. <laughs> he knew that he was still in his closet, even though it was pitch black, because it still smelled like fish. He got up and noticed he was a lot lighter. He walked over to his pool and stared at his reflection. What the feck? He exclaimed out loud. He was a skeleton. His jaw then literally dropped. I shall now be known as Little Skeletons. <laughs> he went back to town and saw a poster for the Skeletons of Anarchy Gang. He joined it soon after. He called Lowell Daughters to tell her the news. Meanwhile, you were making out with your honey when your phone rings. You answer it and the voice says, What are you doing with my daughter? You tell her your girl and she says, My dad is dead. Who was away? Oh, it was Little Skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> the other bikers of the gang didn't like little skeletons that much he was always laughing at them for no apparent reason they took his bike away and gave him an old car when he got in he wasn't yet used to whatever new skeleton hot bods so he couldn't open the window to get out how did he get in I don't know he just sighed and drove down the road to pick up chicks. He saw a tall skinny man with no face and had tentacles coming out of him. Look at that ass on that. This BB. He said to himself, getting boned. Tall man stuck his thumb out to signal he wanted to get picked up. Little skeleton stopped a few yards in front of him because he likes to be a dick. When the man went up and opened the door, Little Skeletons jumped out of him. Hey, I'm free. Little Skeletons then ran away and never to be seen again. After story. There have been reports of a spooky skeleton running around the vicinity of Trollpasta Town, setting everyone's houses on fire if they aren't part of the Curious Georgia cult. Recently, there have been more reports of a skeleton banning people on Trollpasta Wiki, possibly under the influence of evil Patricks. Lock your waifus in bananas in your closets because he'd know it has an apparent fear of closets. Oh, also, your next Thanks for reading. I'm going to walk away for a little bit. Okay. Just gonna go walk away. I'm gonna walk over here. He needs to take a break from life. Oh, baby, let me get some of this big blue. Hey. Hey, girl. Big blue in this cup. It's going down. I'm your dipper. Ow. <laughs> big blue. <coughs> hey, little Baba, you listen to right. blue. This will be your last one. What? Then I'm dead? This is a, a bunch of baby ducks reading uh, Deja Vu from Trollpasta. It says Deja Vu. There's a bunch of little squiggly lines over it. Yep, they're silent. They say Deja Vu. No, they're silent. A Deja Vu is actually a glitch in reality, and it indicates that something has just been changed. Someone or something has ceased to exist. 
all memories and records of their existence erased forever. A deja vu happens when they get into your brain, when they need to change your memories, maybe to erase your brother from the world, you know, the brother you never had. Also, there is no spoon. And the cake is a lie. There is no spoon. Why is there no spoon? Exactly. Deja vu. This will be the this will be the last story on this episode of Lots of Pasta. This one's called Scary Girl. Troll Pasta. Okay. Even though it's in all caps, I'm just gonna read it in my troll pasta voice. I'm not gonna scream because it's like two pages and I'm not screaming two pages. Well, I'll scream for the day of all the blood. You know, I read that. I'm not not screaming for two pages. Friday. One Friday on 4chan, the OP of a creepypasta thread was all alone on his thread on dash x dash when suddenly a scary little girl with black bottle nipples as eyes popped up on the computer screen and so he posted fuck me and in real life he yelled fuck me (laughs) and in the same time Shock made him shoot poop, enough to fill his underwear, in his suit, and then he wiped lumps of hot brown shut all over his brand new computer screen. But he had to go to work! The OP walked outside and some asshole pinned something scary on the outside of his door. He opens the door and a skeleton popped out! The OP yelled, FUCK ME! Really loud, and then he shit his pants and smeared globs of sticky shit all over his work clothes. Now, he had to get changed. The OP quickly mustards up enough courage to get changed into his shitted looking and most least favorite outfit, and then goes to his car. But someone stole his engine, and his spark plugs, and his muffler, and his dashboard, and his steering wheel, and put a hamburger inside his gas tank. Probably a ghost did it. The OP yells, fuck me! And then, as he was driving, the car started itself with no engine and a hamburger in the gas tank. Goats! He automobile gets turned into a hugely big accident on the other car. Leaked diarrhea shit through sweatsuit, through lather seats, through every car, and then the airbag exploded! (laughs) But instead of there being an airbag, it was a skeleton. (laughs) The OP now must walk to his office in sun under sunlight covered in sour orange dump office's files away fuck me guys how do I turn off caps lock (laughs) Saturday OP stood at the top of a really long abandoned dark scary dark staircase that had forgotten about long ago in his brand new work office for no reason and the really scary little girl with black eyes as eyes was chasing for him up from the bottom of the staircase and <laughs> scarecase <laughs> and screaming really scaringly dopey shit and pissed everywhere but mostly he squirted electric power shot directly under her girl's face which knocked her up displacing her to the bottom and nearly killed her she slid up the staircase starcase <laughs> and started jogs again, but slowest, so he can't and wouldn't fart dog shit all over her. All of a sudden, Jesus came out of nowhere and he said, I'm gonna push you down this staircase. (laughs) Not even Jesus was trying to help the OP, so the OP just stood up and said, well, fuck me. And Jesus pushed him down the staircase and laughed really hard, then shit. The OP hit every staircase on on his head on the way down with charging velocity because his pope was lubricating the stairs (laughs) he hit the really scary girl with black buttholes as eyes directly in the face while traveling at 250 miles per hour on the way down crushing her entire body and breaking her skull to opens and turning her on fire which nearly killed her nearly killing her she let out the sigh pushed farts from her black eye holes and then she died There was so much shit, it filled a stairway. The OP yelled, WELL SHIT! Because his head hurt really bad. And he was in shit with Jesus. And then a skeleton popped out. (laughs) And then another skeleton popped out. The OP prolapsed his entire bowels out through his penis. And then vomited his testicles out through his eye sockets. The worst part was that he is your son and a baby fury.
That was a lot. That was just way too much. That was just too... All of my troll passes I've read today are just kind of throw up on pages. Which I didn't know why, you know, I'm surprised. Because troll pasta is the lowest form of humor. I'm going to call that the end. Um, Jerry, do you curls, is there anything you want to add before we uh, end the episode? Any Any final thoughts? Yeah. Um, you know... Whenever you go to bed late at night, make sure you got... Yeah, it just picks them up, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can get it at your local grocery store. Right next to the... <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> so, and I'm not going to let him talk anymore. Um, <laughs> so I got a bunch of baby ducks here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Got it. Oh. I can so, get as close as the mic as I can. Is there, any, is there anything you want to say? I'm going to get closer. Call? Closer. Closer. How do you feel closer. about this? Thanks. That's, that's all you want. Is that all you want to say? Is that all you want to say? Yeah. Thanks. Let's just end on a group. Uh, real right, quick. Three, two, two one. <laughs>